Welcome, everyone, to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Fred Van Vliet, a first-time All-Star in 2021, said of his journey, quote, it's Allie, his toughness and IQ, a big factor for them. Thanks for that. And we're expecting an intense battle in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. Now the starting group for the Sacramento Kings. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. Fox runs point with Herter by his side. And it's Barnes in at the three, the small forward. And for Toronto, the forward duo, the athletic pair of Barnes and Siakam. Fred Van Vliet out there with OG Ananobi. And it's Pirtle in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Fox. Shot clock at six. Back to Herter. Takes the three. Doesn't go that time. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. We've seen Jakob Pertl make huge strides with his defense since coming into the lead, Richard. He's become one of the top rim protectors. When you see that his block numbers get better. Players think twice about driving the lane when he's out there. So it's Sacramento now. The Raptors making their last shot. Barnes against Barnes. Pass to Fox. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. Look at Fox fearlessly going inside, hunting for a higher percentage look. Outside Barnes. And here's Ananobi. Siakam outside. Back to Ananobi. Pass to Pirtle. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And as solid as Pearl is during the game, his free throws, Grant, can be an issue. B.A. It really limits his minutes during close games late. Now he's right around 50% for his career. He has decent form, so there is some hope for improvement. Shooting two. And that one falls for Pirtle. No team has had to make more sacrifices than Toronto during the pandemic. You are right about that, B.A. I mean, they had to change their home base to Tampa. In essence, they spent an entire season on the road. It was tough for everyone, but the Raptors faced some big challenges. Achua's checked in for Toronto. Gary Trent Jr. comes in for Ananobi, so he gets them both. And their number four overall pick, Keegan Murray, making a quick impact. One of the most efficient players in college basketball at Iowa last year. He went on to win MVP of the 2K23 Summer League. Can he become a rising star for the Kings? It'll be fun to watch. Lyles down low. Achua defending. Monk. That shot, no good. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Here's Barnes. Davis with a rebound. Pass to Mitchell. From deep three-point range. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. Well, good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Raptors out in front, up two. We've got more in store for you right after this. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And from what we've seen from the Raptors, what's your take so far? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks. Great stuff. Now Van Vliet. Siakam and Achua down low at the four and the five. Trent Jr. and Ananobi out on the wings. And it's Van Vliet in at the one spot. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Siakam gets the bucket. A long swing player. Siakam uses that 6'9 length down low. 
And now it seems Siakam is in his prime. How do you see his place in the league, Grant? Well, I really like him, but he seems to be an elite second option. Not sure if you want to build an entire offense around him, but certainly has proven to be an important piece to a championship-level team. See, that miss, that miss right there, it's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Ananobi can't get it to go. The Kings trailing. Back come the Kings in transition. And because Felix likes to score so often, it puts defenses in a very tough situation. He really earns a lot of these calls. A tremendous guard to have at your disposal. Fox is a shot creator who continues to get his teammates involved as well. Good on the free throw. And Richard De'Aaron Fox continues to impress offensively. He likes to shoot now. Fox not afraid to let it go from behind the arc. Percentage is down a bit last year, but Fox maintains that confidence to keep shooting. The persistence resonates with his teammates. So the Kings making a change here. Herder's checked in. One of the fastest guys in the league. For Fox, it's about using his blinding quickness to his advantage on both ends of the floor. Siakam gets the bucket. Now, what's the saying? Don't box out. You get your feelings hurt. Fox, the pass to Herder. Back to Fox. Over Van Vliet. Here's Sabonis. And it's Toronto with a rebound. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. And there's a three-second violation. Three seconds. Three in the key. Young, he's checked in for Siakam. The Kings also with a sub. Lens checked in. The Kings have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Outside Barnes. Pass to Herder. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Got a hand on it. Ananobi passes to Trent. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Guys, just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Off target at the rim. And so it's the Toronto Raptors up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA. The first quarter for the Raptors was fairly... And that should do it. We've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Well, Richard, you had a long playing career. When you think of the great leaders you were around, what are some of the common threads? I think one of the common threads are the guys that work the hardest expect the most from their teammates. That's something that I've always seen be very, very consistent with leaders because leaders, especially leaders of men in professional sports, you have to lead by example. And so in the game for the Kings, Fox runs point with Herter by his side. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. And it's Barnes in at the three. Now here's Murray. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Really Thanks left him alone moment. that time. And Three. he wastes no time coming out of the break. The Raptors with a lead. In 2021, Harrison Barnes, HB, twice closed out games with a fadeaway three. Not a bad signature shot. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, Pascal Siakam's play had dipped for a while after he got the big bag. He said, it was like, you got the max contract, but are you the guy? That's something I really struggled with. But there's still another level that I can get to, and I see myself as an all-star, and there's a lot more to unleash. Brian? Yeah, just now entering his prime, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Barnes. Pass to Siakam. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Herder. 
Siakam, no good. Fox against Van Vliet. Here's Murray. Inside. Here's Sabonis. Hurdle with some nice D. 24 seconds left in the third. Here's Siakam. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Siakam's got six. And just a straight ball of move from Siakam. I mean, shrugging off the coverage and keeping his focus on that basket. Using his speed advantage to create the separation he needs for the shot. Siakam, right side. Can't connect from 14. And so it's the Toronto Raptors closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. The Kings shooting just 21% from the floor. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. team up as the backcourt. Achua is out there with Chris Boucher. And it's Barnes in at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Back to Mitchell. Six to shoot. He's off on that one. Oh, good D by Boucher. Toronto shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Pass to Trent. Boucher outside. Barnes passes to Trent. Kept alive. He's so strong when he goes to work on the glass. One opening is all he'll need to finish the play, even if it's just a tip in. Now here's Mitchell. To the inside. Here's Lynn. That one's good. Oh, Mitchell good. making the play. Exposing the defense and taking advantage in the paint. Monk against Trent. Outside Barnes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Raptors lead by nine. They can Stepping up the and nailing an important shot to put this away. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. Time called here. The Kings decide to talk it over. They're down by nine. 52 seconds left in the final quarter. in our New Balance Player of the Game, Fred Van Vliet. And I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset. I mean, he had the energy and the intensity all game. He didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the rim. He had this crowd on their feet almost all night, rewarding their cheers with an electric performance. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. When Fox drives, he knows he's going to get contact, but he stays locked in and gets the foul call. Shooting for Sacramento. Dealing Fox. Two shots. Shooting two. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. The Kings making a switch here. Barnes is checked in. He's able to hit the second one, and that brings him with an eight. And trying to cut into this deficit, tough to leave any points on the table. 
Trent outside. Back to Van Vliet. It's stolen by Fox. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Yeah, they fought as hard as they could. Just wasn't in the cards tonight. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First team foul. Coming on to the floor for your wet drawers. Here's Toronto with the ball. They've led by as much as 10. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Toronto. Scotty Barnes. Two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. And that makes it a seven point lead. So he drops them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. Sacramento calls timeout. They're behind by eight. 19 seconds left in the final quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? And time's running short. They just couldn't get over that hump. And I'm sure coach is encouraging them to play to the final whistle. Then they can get out of here. Nineteen seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Monk. That shot off the mark. Great D that time from Barton. Here's Flynn. So the Raptors win it. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave them a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce.